I am sort of a fabric hoarder and a fabric scraps hoarder. I don't like to, you know, I like to save when I can. Um, so I have big piles of fabric scraps. And what I'll generally do is um, put them in a big pile, kind of forget about them, and the, at the end of a few projects, I'll go into that pile and sort them by size, so like smaller to bigger sizes. Um, so this is improv quilting, um, crazy quilting, crumb quilting, I've heard it called. I think the main difference I've seen is the traditional crazy quilts are um, can be made with all sorts of different fabrics and and have that really beautiful embroidery at the end which I do not know how to do maybe you do um, maybe you know what the technical difference between crumb quilting crazy quilting and improv quilting is if you do I'd love to learn um, so I'll start really small like I said like this will need to be cut down so it's one line um, on each side so it's a you know a straight line I just took a bunch of scraps yesterday and I started piecing them together here it starts with two triangles and it follows sort of a log cabin feel the size of the scrap determines where I place it and sometimes the color too um, and luckily my color palette is pretty similar this is one of my favorites I love both of these fabrics so much um, so I'm really happy about that piece so we'll see what happens with that in the future here's a fun one I'm just gonna show you examples there's no right or wrong way I don't think what you eventually want to do is get all of your pieces to be um, squared off, first of all, um, and then you can start piecing them together. You can also put sashing in between each block to um, have them be a little more cohesive and give a little bit of a rest for the eye, for your viewer, for the quilt user. This is a bit longer, so I may end up cutting it down over on this side, or it might just end up being a big square. Um, another thing is they don't all have to be the same size square block. You can um, have some really long pieces as long as they're squared off, meaning all the all the um, like the top and bottom are parallel and the sides are parallel and you can fit them together like a big puzzle, like a Tetris kind of thing. I like puzzles, I don't know if you do. Um, this is another one that's kind of a log, log cabin style. This is a mini quilt that I'm almost finished with. It started off as an improv, just with my scraps, like I'm showing you here, and then I started framing them, and all that's left is to bind it. And it's kind of a fun piece. You can play around with how you want to um, display it. I like these just on the wall um, as wall decor. And here's another one that I bound. So it starts off in the middle. You can see the little improv piecing. And then I just framed it a bunch of times and bound it. And then this is a fun method I like to do which is you stitch in the ditch with your with your machine and then in between that to add a little bit of character or you know if you like hand quilting you can hand quilt in between I know it's not technical but I kind of look at the stitch in the ditch here as sort of a basting for these mini quilts um, and then I don't have to pin it or anything like that, which I just don't like doing, <laughs> to be honest. Let's be real. Um, so those are some examples of what I like to do with my scrap, scrap scramps. 
Um, let me know what you do with your scraps. I don't know what else you could do, um, but I'd be interested to know. So um, subscribe, comment below, tell me if you know what the difference between improv, crazy, and crumb quilting is because I, I just cannot figure it out. Um, yeah, and let me know if you have questions or suggestions for any future videos. I'll be uploading weekly, hopefully weekly. Cut this part out.